Hey, 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 what do you say? Argentina is alive. But boy, they didn't look convincing. Good morning, my soccer universe. Copa America update. Um, it was all planned. I shot on Saturday. I haven't um, made it yet. A jersey review video for Group A where I was wearing the 2014 Brazil home jersey. Brazil won. Yesterday I did the same thing for Group B. Still not posted, but I will get there. I was wearing this jersey. Argentina won, so my soccer powers. I think I should wear this more often if I want Argentina to win anything. But I really gotta say, I saw uh, the game. It was not convincing. I actually put both games on. I watched one on the computer, it was the uh, Argentina game, and the other one on my phone, the uh, Paraguay-Colombia game. Uh, Argentina gets a great start and Lautaro Martinez uh, scores early. Uh, he even had a, a great chance just be prior to that. So um, Argentina really tried to take it to Qatar. Qatar, not Qatar, Qatar it's called. Uh, however, they kind of failed to really uh, put the nail in the coffin early of Qatar. Um, they had chances, they dominated mostly, uh, but just not convincing. And I have to say, as much star started as the front line is, the back line, I mean, there's Talia Fico for Ajax and uh, who else? The midfield, not really confident in uh, inspiring. So yeah, uh, but still, they were better than Qatar in the first half, at least for the first half of the first half, because Qatar fought themselves into the game and got dangerous. Sergio Aguero had a Big miss uh, or in the, uh, early on, where he uh, in the like midpoint of the first half, where it should have been two 0 And I gotta say, I, from what I see from Aguero, yes, he's great in the Premier League, where he scores many goals. But a uh, Champions League and for our Argentina, I find him to be the most overrated player currently. Uh, I really don't rate Aguero. I really don't. Well, more good news were coming. Um, Argentina's way, uh, because Colombia uh, gets uh, also the goal to Cuea, uh, really nicely taken from an acute angle uh, played in, and from all I could see, Colombia was dominating uh, Paraguay, which I didn't expect, they had already first place secured, so you expect kind of a so-and-so uh, performance, no, not, nothing but that Colombia, I mean Paraguay came a few times, but Colombia really uh, had more of the game and I always had the feeling, I mean, I was not following closely, honestly, but I always had the feeling that uh, Colombia can score more. That feeling I didn't have for Brazil, uh, for uh, Ar Argentina and actually uh, towards the end of the first half, Qatar came a knocking and hit even the post after a free kick, I think, outside of the post, but still, I mean, it was there. They could have equalized and that would have sent our Argentina for sure in a downward spiral. I don't want to say much about the Argentina kit. I don't like those navy blue pants or steel blue pants. I say a lot about this in my jersey review. Second half, Qatar tries a little bit more, but then in the end, Argentina really takes over the game without being too convincing. But Argentina is playing better, is playing forward. Um, I remember a chance by Messi, a nice ball to him, and then he basically attempts a field goal. Yes, the ball was wobbling, and yeah, the pitch in Porto Alegre looked uh, awful. But yeah, you had the feeling. Um, Colombia almost scored a second goal, which would have been a really nice one. Great pass from um, James Rodriguez to Ruiz, uh, who kind of volleys out of the air, controls the ball, but also touches his hand and then he slams it home. It, if that would have stood, this would have been a really nice goal right along the lines of what uh, James Rodriguez scored against Uruguay in 2014. Um, but yeah, it did not stand and you knew that um, better Argentina get something. Uh, Qatar could have just gotten an equalizer and that would have uh, sent most likely Argentina out. And then they get the goal through Aguero, who again, I think missed early another chance, uh, but then he kind of finds the um, engine, runs past a few defenders and puts it into net and finally makes it 2-0. Argentina moves on. 
Colombia also hangs on to the win. 1-0 only against Paraguay, which not only makes Argentina happy, but also makes Peru happy. They need it, because uh, they with four points, Paraguay, now in the group has a surplus team, only two points. And so Peru is already through to the next round. So in this group we have Colombia with nine points, Argentina with four, Paraguay two, Qatar one is out. Paraguay has to hope for a draw uh, between Ecuador and Japan uh, tonight. Um, which is in a way almost a more interesting matchup. We have now in the um, bracket, we know Brazil will play uh, one third place team out of group B or C. Venezuela plays Argentina, which at first seems, yeah, this is not easy for Argentina. Nope, nope, there was a friendly where Venezuela beat them soundly 3-1. Uh, so I don't think this is an easy game for our, our Argentina. I again call it. Venezuela will make this one. Colombia plays the second place team from group C, Chile or Uruguay. And Peru, the winner of Group C, also Chile or Uruguay. So definitely going to be interesting. Well, let me know what you thought about this. I'm happy that Argentina advanced, but I... They don't look good. They don't look good. I'm sorry. They're not, they're not even top in South America anymore. That much I can tell after yesterday's performance. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.